Hey, this is Sasha in our showroom here at Bath & Granite. I want to show you what circumstances we use water jet cuts in and what's the difference between a water jet and a saw blade cut. So come check this out. So here we had a project where this is a leftover remnant. Um, a blade has to cut past the line because it's a circular blade. It has to cut past the line in order to get the full depth here. So one circumstance in which we have to use a water jet is when we need to use this side for the client. We can't tolerate a saw jet or a cut like this in the in their stone. So the blade would stop here and then it would water jet the last few inches. Now when we switch between a blade and a water jet, the cut is different. The cuts are no longer the same. We've got different tools we're using for the cut. Um, so you can see what a water jet cut looks like here. We had a blade go here, and then you can see the blade stopped right here. And then this cut is much more rough. Now it's really interesting why this is more rough. When cutting through such thick material, the water jet tends to flare out. It flares out, and that causes a difference in the thickness overall. And when that switchover occurs, there's also a difference for where the water jet picks up, because the blade is a different thickness than the water jet line that it makes. So this is the male side. This piece here was the male side of the Eurofit seam. And we put a piece of tape here so you can actually see the difference in, in the line. So this, this is the blade, this is the blade, this is the blade, and then you can see the water jet cuts here, and it's off by a bit. Here this is parallel to the tape, and it's still parallel to the tape, but there's a gap there now. So what do we do about this gap? Well, we usually don't do anything about this gap because the only time you'd see this gap is on an unpolished surface. Unpolished meaning it butts into a wall where there's an appliance there, um, or it's a top mount sink, for an example, or a top mount hood, uh, I'm sorry, not a hood, but anything, anything basically that's gonna cover up the holes. So this, uh, this leaves the shop this way and the installer is on site. If for whatever reason, this needs to be ground down to straighten it out and make it in line with the, with the uh, water jet. The installers will do that on site because it's somewhat rare that they actually do have to touch this on, on polished surface. Usually an appliance will cover it up, um, like a stove would have a, a lip, all top mount sinks have a lip that sit over this edge. 